Hello Internet, this is Oleg and welcome to the new tech episode. Today we're going to talk about Unify and especially if you are a Unify user like I am, you're using lots of Unify equipment like switches and access points, you're primarily accessing your Unify infrastructure in case of monitoring and diagnostic and everything through your Unify controller. Unify controller is your doorway to do everything Unify. That talks about uh, firmware updates, uh, maintaining users, getting diagnostic messages, getting all the log files, getting performance data, and so on. The main concept of Unify infrastructure, as you see here, the controller itself is a dashboard. So you go to the dashboard, this is what is presented view and average overview and general overview of your infrastructure and how it is behaving. You see here, I see everything is great 95%, which is a good sign. It also tells me that I have three access points, three switches, I have USG Pro as in my router, I have 33 Wi-Fi clients, and I have three guests. And there are some statistics around retries and everything like that, and connectivity of the new users, how they disconnect and connect to the, to the Wi-Fi. But the thing is, uh, sometimes this view is not really enough so you have to go and jump, for example, to devices to see how many users you have distributed across your access points. For example, for that, you can also go ahead and modify and do customization on the columns and say, for example, show me 5G clients, 2G clients, like uh, speed uh, for both channels used, um, utilization of the channels. Stuff like that, CPU, load average, memory usage. So you can customize that as, as, as much as you can add more columns to this site. Uh, this will be preserved next time you log in and you can jump to this view all the time. But sometimes you really need to see one big pane of glass to monitor everything. And again, we're talking about dashboards. So for dashboards, what you can see here, we're talking definitely about customization on the dashboard. So this video is about how to customize your dashboard and how to jump from this view to something like this. And as you see on this dashboard, I have pretty much all the required information to see how my infrastructure is behaving. What is my internet speed? How many clients I have connected on each channel? What is my traffic? What is my top interference of the access points? How many clients do I have? What is the throughput, which is very important as well on Wi-Fi and on the normal switching infrastructure? What are my active clients? What are the most active clients? And also we have data here about Wi-Fi as well and access point retry rate. So that's the view which I selected for myself and this is fully customizable using Unify. So let's see how it's done. So in order to build custom the dashboard, all you have to do is just go back to the uh, managing dashboards. And here you can have add custom dashboard. And it's gonna give you the name, test2, for example. And if you have uh, already a profile for this dashboard, which I have, I will export mine. So you, if you really like what I did, you can actually import my profile and customize it further to match your needs, but uh, that's what you do. If not, you just go ahead and do create. And as you can see, Unify gives you lots of widgets by default right away. So for example, you can have like anomalies, you can have uh, failures, CPU uh, utilization usage. All right, so let's get at this one, for example, right now. So you see this is most active switches and for example, I want to see my port usage. So I click on this, it's going to show me port usage. If I want to see my internet speeds, I can click here. So as you can see, you can match and these things are movable. So you can do and optimize them the view of the way you like it. So for example, that would make more sense if I put it here. Also, if we're going to go and say uh, internet connections, we have that. So let's see. So some of these widgets basically got multiple options. So you can go ahead and say show me throughput or show me latency, right? And ideally, you would have both graphs listed so you can add it twice. So let's get this and let's get it again. And in this case, we're going to go and select latency. 
right? So this, the good thing is because this is virtually the same graph, once you move around one graph, it will show you the adequate values on the other side as well. Things like that, traffic distribution. This is what you see originally. So whatever you do here, like the original dashboards, especially traffic distribution will be presented on the main view anyway. So I don't think recommend to use that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. And for example, Wi-Fi summary, this is what it is right there. And also I have another one switching summary and um, routing utilization. All right, so this thing will mo make more sense to drop here and your Wi-Fi summary will go over here. Also, you can do some graphs like uh, retry access points. So this is very useful and um, draw packets potentially we can get that uh, dun, 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 top applications yeah um, make sure you select the things which you really need on this because the more complex the dashboard will become more cpu it will drain from your infrastructure from the system supporting your unify controller for example in my case i'm running it on uh, cloud key version 2 and with my setup I already reached like 70% of memory usage uh, usually my cloud key is around like 20 13 15 percent memory usage on the normal dashboard which is common in the package with unify controller but the way I customize it it's stressing more load to get this data all the time refreshed and that will affect your memory consumption of the unify controller so make sure you only select things which you need. Device distribution. So that's probably going to go right there. It's going to show me how many devices I have. Uh, client distribution. That's useful. And also see here, this is color. You can, if you really like like blue and bluish color thing, and you can go ahead and change that. Yeah, you can see, you can use either color profile or just blue and white profile in that case it will look like this and there are some other things which you can do but you got the idea right so um that's very easy to do what i'm gonna do right now is to save it so you go on the top and you do done and this is how the layout will look like so if you want to test and switch to something else like you want to go between different profiles you might do so by such selecting this is your default wi-fi metrics as you can see, this is what I was talking about. This line here, uh, which is channel distribution, it's selected and displayed for you anyway. So there is no reason to duplicate that on your custom dashboard. So that's why I don't recommend you do that. But in general, you can do and say, for example, I want my custom dashboard. So the reason this dashboard exists and these widgets exist because you can create multiple views, depends on what you need, what kind of reporting you need all the way right there. And uh, if you really want something like that, very generic and very kind of informative in one shot, all in one kind of deal, then this is the dashboard which you can use. If you really want to specifically create dashboard, which is talking about clients, how the interference works and how the performance works and stuff like that, you can do so by creating multiple dashboard. So anyway, that's pretty much it. So I hope this video was useful for you and you can put your comments in the section down below just to indicate how much you like it and what are your ideas of the dashboard, how do you think this will go. And um, I really, the downside of this, what you have right now on a, on a widget side of the things, yeah, that's the pretty much the only thing you have. So um, all the widgets which you see here on top and you create and edit your dashboard, when you do so by managing dashboard, you see here, custom test two, you can go ahead and do edit. and the only widgets which you have here is the only widgets you can get. So if Unify will update that on the next version of controller and add more widgets, I recommend you check this from time to time, especially when you get new controller version. And you might see more widgets available here, which you can drop on your dashboard. But again, don't overdo it because this will be using your memory on your infrastructure supporting your controller. Uh, in case of cloud key, that's not much memory and you really need to optimize to what you have to show on this dashboard.
or create multiple dashboards and just use one at a time and um, depends on what you need what kind of reporting you need uh, you can select one or the other, or the other. All right, anyway, so that's it for today's quick video. Uh, like I said, hopefully it was useful. I will link uh, my dashboard export in the comments down below so you can download that and play it. If you see, then you go in and you specify and add your dashboard and you see that there is no widgets reported, you need to import one of the dashboards, at least one of the dashboard file. Uh, you can import mine and you will automatically see all the widgets which you have available in Unify Controller. I think it's a bug in the current version of Unify Controller. It should show you by default all the available widgets, but if it doesn't, that means you just need to import at least one different dashboard and all of them will show up. Um, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, like usual, we welcome new people on the channel all the time. And until next time, I'll see you around. Peace.